Hello creatives, in this particular video, we are going to be looking at the integrity of picking a tech-based career. Okay, so why is it important for you to pick a tech-based career aside what you are doing by default or aside your traditional study in the university? So why should you pick a tech-based career over a traditional job? So in this particular video, we are going to be talking about picking a tech career. For this part of the world, traditional jobs are going to be things. In my time when I was young, you know, when you go to a secondary school and you ask anybody what they want to learn or what they want to become in the future, you hear, ah, uncle, I want to become a lawyer, I want to become a banker, I want to become a computer engineer, I want to become a scientist, okay, a scientist in Nigeria, yeah, that, is, that is possible. I want to become this, you know, a lot of people have what they want to become, they want to study mass communication, they want to study a lot of things. However, how many people actually end up achieving their goal? How many people end up achieving their dream? How many people end up becoming what they thought they were going to be? At this point in time, the job security for traditional jobs are no longer there. Why? The old ones are not retiring. You know, normally you're supposed to retire maybe at the age of 50, but then the situation of the country is so bad that you cannot afford to retire. Okay? You can't afford to retire. So the old ones are not retiring and the new ones are not getting jobs. So when you look at it, those that end up being done with school, they are either only very few people become like very, very well employed. A lot of people are underemployed, a lot of people are unemployed. And you have thousands and millions of people graduating from tertiary institutions every single year. So now, what is now the integrity? What is the significance of picking a tech career, a tech based career? Now, the thing is, aside your traditional school, when you have a tech career, what you can do is you can freelance or you can you can work remotely, you know, you can combine multiple jobs with what you are doing already. Because most of the time, a lot of people don't end up doing what they even studied in the university. So now, how do you ensure that you pick a tech career? When you, I bought a particular course and you then sent me sort of like a research. They sent me sort of like a research that they did regarding um, analysis of skills that people are learning and skills that will be viable in 2023 and all of that. So how do you know the course that is intended for you or the course that suits your need or the course that you can find yourself doing very well, okay? So what you want to do is you want to check all of the list of courses that are available. You research. You Google, you use ChatGPT, you know, any platform that makes life easy for you. Get information, gather information, get to know what that particular discipline, tech skill, is about. Now, when you're done with that, that is not all there is, you know. Some can be very fantastic, they can sound very good, but then it was still the same thing that I did for traditional career before I found out that, okay, well, mathematics education is actually one of the courses that I'd like to study in the university. There was also marine science, there was also, I think, computer engineering or things like that. But I also had to look at what are my chances with my with my um, score, jam score. Basically, jam, for those that are in the Western world, jam is the exam right in Nigeria to gain admission to the special institution, which is on joint admission matriculation board, jam, basically. So now, you check your jam score and all of those things, then you check what are the problems of you getting that course. Then you don't just stop there. What you want to do is you want to check for how much are they being paid, you know, what is their average salary? What is the job security? Is there any job security at all? If there isn't, then you have to see that, okay, it's not really, a good option for you because it doesn't secure your future unless if the money you are getting there you are putting it somewhere else okay when you now check that you also want to check where can you work there is no point picking a skill that will require you to be traveling every single day if you are the kind of person that does not like to travel there is no point picking any skill that will make you leave lagos for abuja if all of your family if all of your businesses all of your everything about you is in Lagos and you cannot even afford to leave. So these are research that you have to do before and before selecting any course that you want to study. The same thing with a tech based tool. So you want to take your time to check is it data analysis or what's data analysis about? What are the kind of software that I use? How much are they being paid? Where can you work? How you know what is the threshold? How is the stress? You know, what is the learning curve? And all of those things, things like that. So you want to do that for every single thing, whether video editing, whether cinematography, whether programming, because coding is not for everybody. You understand? A lot of people feel like picking a tech skill is just coding itself. I've had a lot of people walk up to me to be like, ah, the media is not tech. But then when I want to counter them, I'll be like, do you know After Effects? They say, some of them say, some of them say yes. And I'm like, okay, if you check After Effects, there are some, like a Rigo now. If you want to do a Rigo, you have to type a JavaScript expression. In After Effects, actually get a Rigo expression to work. You know, and there are other things like that. So now, the fact that you are using JavaScript programming language in After Effects already shows you that, okay, media is remaking. But outside that, technology is beyond a programming language. Software engineering is tech. 
computer engineering is tech. You know, your MiFi that is that you are using to browse is technology because if it is not technology, it will not be working. We get the hardware of your camera, the software of your camera, they are all technology. You understand? So then you just have to take the time to check what is the best for you. Then by the time you are done with your research, you may be having things that are very good that you feel like okay. I think I'm liking this too. I think I'm liking this too. Then you want to do further research to see the one that fits your needs the most. So when you see that, okay, filmmaking is not the best for you. When you see that programming, mobile devs, um, when you see artificial intelligence is the best for you, then you start there. Then once you see that you are achieving mastery, you know, you don't start adding other stuff unless you achieve mastery. So it is very important for you to prioritize mastery over everything. And you also have to work on your portfolio. But then the major thing we're talking about here is picking a tech-based career. So now for us in this part of the world, picking a tech-based career with what you do already can determine your survival as a species. <laughs> okay, that's it. But then it can actually determine your survival. Okay, so that is all the risk to know about picking a tech career. And it is not necessary for you to follow anybody that just wants to sell something to you. That'll be like, hey, you have to pay this amount, you have to do that. Take your time, do your research. It's not compulsory you go and be subscribing to Coursera, plural sites, LinkedIn Learning, or any platform that is subscription based. You can decide to go for platforms that you can just buy the course. You know, you know it is there for you, it is available any single time that you need it. If you know that okay, doing a subscription based planning does not work for you because you don't need to spend all of the bulk in your world to access the information. All of the information you need is out there. Even though we know that everything is not on YouTube for free. You can still spend a little book here and there and you can still get value for your money. So this is the essence why it is good for you to pick a tech-based career. These are all of the information you need whenever you want to pick a tech-based career, okay? Also, have people that you know they are doing well in the industry. Follow them on your social media and then you're good. In picking a tech career now, how do you know you are good enough? You know, that's a very good question. When you're doing all of your learning, when you're doing all of your study, how do you know what you need to know, okay? So one of the things you have to do is using job platforms okay platform like LinkedIn, a platform like upwork check job description check job requirements what are the knowledge that you need to possess for you to be a master in that craft for you to be a master of that discipline or for you to be a master of that tech skills that is one of the things that you have to ensure that you do for graphic design it is necessary for you to learn photoshop illustrator and in design, those are the three main software you need to learn. Photo manipulation for Photoshop, vector graphics for Illustrator and packaging and magazine kind of designs, books and like that for Adobe in design. Okay, even learning courage, learning courage is an alternative, it's not necessarily bigger again. But if you don't want to learn Illustrator, you can just put all of your attention on courage. However, when you learn those three software I mentioned before, transitioning into courage or using courage, you don't need to watch any video, you don't need to watch any tutorial. Just open and do your thing. That's where you work. So when you want to do this, you want to check job requirements. And when you see that you have met up to most of the job requirements that you've seen, that is how you know that you are good enough. So you see that you are good enough to get most jobs done, add on that skill to it, add on that skill to it. Because these are the things that will give you edge over other people when you're doing your interview. And when I tell people, if you have 10 best class people that are seated, what will set one person apart? is what they know, the volume of information that they possess, the volume of information that they have, and how good, how competent are they really. Okay, if you have maybe five first class graduates, and you have somebody who is not even a first class graduate, but then he's extremely competent, you'll be chosen over anybody who is just a matter of one thing. So this is why it is very important for you to ensure that you do your own check, you do your own research. In that particular field that you want to become a professional in, it is a job requirement that will help you know when you've got into that point in time. Yeah, my is here, my God, don't please. Hey, go on, do it, go on, do it. No, bro! Okay. So, my Jackson decided to come and with me, and okay, this was not planned anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'm just going to be asking you a question based on the two videos that I'm shooting presently. So, the first one is um, picking a tech based career. Okay. Okay, so why is it important? You know, we have our traditional kind of skills. Which is like um, when people say I want to become a lawyer, I want to become a banker. But now you even have artificial intelligence doing the job of a lawyer and all of those things. Why do you think it is important for an individual to pick a tech based career? Or is it that there is no need for that at all? Or can anybody just stick with what they know already? They should just well, concentrate yourself. Oh, what is your opinion? So it does it, everybody does not have to necessarily have to. Um, basically, um, picking a tech skills is quite nice. There's a whole lot, bunch of stuff to pick. But 
a whole lot of people are rushing into tech because okay. of um, the amounts that in which they're going to gain from tech. But if you have like a, a skills, like if you're good at something that you, mm-hmm. you, you have like a handwork that you know mm-hmm. that yes, it's really paying you well, you can stick to your job. It's not about moving or transitioning to a different um, field just because of you heard that, oh, one of your guys mm-hmm. making millions and you want to switch. It might not be for you. You might not even understand it because I, I know a friend who is a videographer. Now he's actually going for cyber security. So it's, <laughs> I know that friend. <laughs> so it's just based on you, what you like, what you feel. But tech is actually nice though. So thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot in this video. I look forward to getting feedback, replies, comments, critics from you. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.